for the last six years, we are in a situation that uh, is terrible. When well, you meet me, not only am I asking our president, and I know how much he's concerned about this situation. We are with him in the status and, uh, and development part partner just about uh, a week or so ago. <coughs> he is indeed keen and passionate about the Shida Ya Okame. But maybe to give the attention that we deserve to the world, maybe we make a formal request, and I'm doing so today to our president, um, also accompanied by our, our minister, Waziri Aden, Labda Wafiki Hapa Garissa, Ili Wajione Hali Vile Ilivu. And then we get the full attention of really the world to come to the rescue of Garissa and the other Asal counties. The situation is uh, not tenable anymore. The Risa County today is suffering big issues. One, not only the drought, but as you have heard, we also have IDPs, drought IDPs, uh, uh, pastoral dropouts from the neighboring countries of Mandera, Wajir, and even, uh, for that matter, Marsabit. So we are already, our situation in the Kuambaya Zaidi, Kuajili Yahawa, when we say to be about Mathrika from the other neighboring counties. Ni Mambo Mazito Mazito. Why do you mean the attention of Garissa as an example of the situation of the Asal counties when a president to Nakuamba or to Fiki Yahapa, Ili Ujua Haliyetu, Napia Watu, globally Ujua the situation of the Asal counties of Kenya. That's my request. While that request maybe will be considered, Ningependa Pia, some quick actions to be taken by the national government. Number one, we need the KDF wakona uwezo ya kusupply maji. Shida kubwa hapa ni maji. Shida kubwa ya ukame is water. I know and we know and they know our KDF um, colleagues wakona magari. Instead of sitting with these vehicles now in the camps, let them help us in tankering water. Saizi tuko na doubt. Na kila mtu anasema tuko na doubt. Lakini muhimu ni what can we do for the people? I represent constituency about drought is no longer news. It's always has been there. We know Mudogashe, um, subcontinent headquarters, what we have done. What we have done is we have We know governor, ulifanya kazi mzuri ulijaribu kupatia watu maji lakini people still feel that's not enough what we want is this is what we are doing is short term solutions we need a long term solution for the drought we need to plan to see your kwamba the next two years this situation does not happen the drought may metokana kwa sababu ya lack of water if we can provide water to your people uh, for, 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 for their own use and for the use of livestock, that's clear drought right akua. So it's malicious yiko, lakin shida ni maji. So I will urge you, Mbana Governor, at least, hata kama uta stop development program zako. You need to save the lives of our people and you still to live the livelihood. Asa mahala wako sa hizi ni kupatue maji wata tracking, ukisama wata patana maji kunya pukia kia hika saidia. When people lose their livelihoods, that's been worse. Every year, I think, because uh, of drought, uh, people are moving down the poverty line. When they're chin. As they move down, it will be a problem to you also, Kaba Governor. So we want you to plan ahead and uh, at least to create um, a long term solution. So it's come our bunge. As Majoka said, we'll try to mobilize resources from national government. That's our work to supplement what you are doing. Kwa soga, Sarkali Saizi, the national government is involved in the major programs. There come major mega dams and this kind of things. They come an emergency, you may watch here, county government and NDMA. And we will ask the government to give NDMA enough resource so that they can at least tackle this, this problem of drought. Attacker when the ground, working from Garissa doesn't help. You go there and feel the situation. Feel the pain people are feeling. 
so that you can help and you can ask for more, more, more donors. The other issue is an attack about Wagarisa. Pila Majidoka Mesema, Tulipata Wagaru Kutoka, these other counties. Now, Mfugao, Nemanduguzetu, we need to keep a peace with them. I know drought always comes with conflict. And we must work hard to see that. Wale watu wagiri tukona maitoka siolo, wengine marisabit, wengine wajia, tubeishi na hawa na amani. Na ujua wakipata mfuwa watarudu kwao. But for now, they are our guests. You must take care of them. Drought has been here for, with us for the last, I think, uh, four years. We have not had adequate rainfall. And again, the little we had, our brothers from Wajia, Mandera, and Marsabet and Isiolo have uh, joined us uh, with the little resources we have. Na mi nataka kushukuru watu ya Garisa. Watu ya Garisa mume onyesha ukarimu na undugu kubwa sana. In the parliament, where I meet colleagues from uh, from Wajia and Mandera, they are very grateful. Vile mulisaidia wenzetu ambayo wako na shida. Hii shida ambayo tuko na yo saa hii, Wali, ambayo walipata huko kwao the failed rains continuous failed rain inaweza kutupata kama watu ya Garissa so nasema kwa niaba ya wabunge wengine kutoka Garissa county asanteni sana mimi nataka hii township ni kubwa sana hata kuliko hiyo area zingine unasema we want at least another track for hii township na one for the out the rural part of the constituency because hii area yote hakuna maji that is a fact. At least on the outskirts. Na hiyo watu hawana pesa ya kununua maji. Kwa food distribution, please include even what your township. They still have the same challenges. Hawana pesa. Ni watu ambayo wamepotesha, uh, they have lost their livelihood kwa upande ya wanyama. So na hisi, na kuomba kama governor, uh, hii program ambayo munaendesha leo with the national government and the donors, Include us in this program as township.